Erev Tov. I'm Stephen Bendenu with Israeli News Live, updating our story from this morning about Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu meeting, meeting secretly, secretly with King Abdullah of Jordan. According to Channel 2 uh, in Israel on their website, they had published that the Prime Minister was considering stopping Jews from going to the Temple Mount. Today, he actually came out and stated publicly that the Jews will be allowed to go to the Temple Mount, but they will only be not allowed to pray as usual, the, as he called it, the status quo. He will maintain status quo. It's rather disheartening, though, to know both Jews, Christians, and Muslims are all allowed to go up to the Temple Mount, and yet the very place where God built his temple had Solomon to build the first temple, and then later Hezekiah building the second temple. And the place for the Jewish people, the most holiest site on the earth to the Jews, and they're not allowed to even open their mouths. They're to keep their mouths shut, keep quiet, say nothing. You might upset the Arab world. Well, we certainly wouldn't want that to happen, would we? Also, another bit of news there going on in Gaza. They have now are given the go-ahead, uh, the, the, that is, the, uh, the defense minister of Israel, Yolan, has signed off for the Gazans to, be, to build a Coca-Cola plant in Gaza. As it is right now, the Coca-Colas that you drink in Israel come from Ramallah. But they say there's a shortage from the borders being closed from time to time. So a go-ahead was given to build the plant in Gaza, and the Israelis say that they hope that this will deter violence going on in Gaza, which I highly doubt, although the plant is to employ 3,000 plus workers, not to mention those in order to build it, but we will just have to see just how much that causes Hamas to say, thank you very much, we won't bomb you now. I'm Stephen Bendenu with Israeli News Live. Good evening.